Jesus Reigns TV. Colonizing, dominating, and impacting nations with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. If this generation is to believe, they should know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Family, that time has come. It's the Passover time. It is the time to celebrate the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the time to commemorate that which God has done and uh, no man in the world, no one under the sun has done what the Lord Jesus Christ has done. Family, there are many religions all over the world. But only Jesus died for his people. Only Jesus Christ died for those that believe in him. We can mention many religions. We can mention religions all over the world. But there is none where we hear that whosoever that is worshipped died for his own people. We only hear that they died, but we never hear that they died for their people. So Jesus Christ is the only one in the whole world who died for simply one reason, so that those who believe in him do not perish, but have everlasting life. With these words, I want to greet you. I'm glad to be here. I am so happy to be with you once again. Family, God's time is the best time. Our time does not matter. Remember, we've just had great news right now. We receive great news as a family that came as a person. So my wife and I have received a baby girl. Oh, what a marvelous God. So now Kojo's got a sister now. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for the things that you have said, the things that you have written, the things that you have continued to do for us and praying for us. I believe the Lord will bless you and more is on the way for you. So in the book of Isaiah number 53, because I'm only here to greet you, Isaiah 53 verses starting from verse number 1. In this Passover, that we all know where it comes from. That in the night of the Lord Jesus Christ, having to be crucified, that he may become the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. That he indeed sat with his own disciples and he broke bread and he gave them a wine to drink. Now, Jesus, upon doing this, great supper which is the last supper of the Lord the Bible then tells us that the Lord Jesus Christ he then told the disciples and said this is my body that is broken for you he said eat of it 
And then he said, this is my blood of the new covenant. He said, drink it. So on the last supper of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ initiated the disciples into a life of understanding what it means to say we are passing over. Because that was the night where the covenant that is new was going to be erected and the old covenant was going to be removed. The curtain that blocked us from accessing the presence of the Lord and from becoming priest before the Lord was going to be torn away and all of us as priests were going to come before the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now family, I want you to understand what Jesus was doing was the fulfillment of the prophecy of what Moses did in Egypt. In Exodus number 14, we get to see that the Bible tells us and Moses told the children of Israel to take a lamb for each one, for each house to slaughter a lamb and to plead the blood of the lamb on their doorsteps and when the angel of destruction comes, he will pass over. And that was the night before they are delivered from the hand of Pharaoh. Now that lamb symbolized the Lord Jesus. It was a lamb that was not meant to be its bones to be broken. Because the bones of the Lord Jesus Christ as the lamb of God in the cross were not broken. So it was all a prophetic illustration. But today I want to talk to you about a God who took away all that which was a burden to us. He took away our sin. He took away our suffering. He took away everything that we would have thought it should be a burden unto us. So right now, Isaiah number 53, we start from verse number 1. There's a little bit of wind. Uh, you can see I'm near the ocean. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. So Isaiah 53 the Bible says, who has believed our report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He has no form or comeliness, and when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief and we hide as if it were from our faces from him he was despised and we did not esteem him surely he has borne our griefs he has carried our sorrows yet we esteemed him stricken and smitten by god and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. And all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned away every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him, on, on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before its sorrows is silent, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison, from from prison and from judgment. And will de and who will declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people he was stricken, and they made him his grave with the wicked but with the rich in his death because he had done this no violence and no was deceit in his mouth yet it pleased the lord to bruise him he has put him to grief when you make his soul an offering for sin he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the lord shall prosper in his hand he shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied because his knowledge 
because his knowledge, my righteous servant shall justify many, he shall bear their iniquities. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now this is a very powerful account from the prophet Isaiah. A very great account of the Lord Jesus Christ. That the Lord Jesus Christ indeed was a man acquainted with sorrow. He was afflicted. In his crucifixion, he took away our pain. He took away the sin of the world. Family, when the apostle uh, John, uh, John the Baptist sees the Lord Jesus coming, he points at him, fulfilling the exact prophecy of prophet Isaiah, that he was indeed like a sheep near its shearers, he was silent. And John points at the Lord and he said, Here is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. The Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. So Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. He takes away the sin of the world that whosoever is truly believing in Him is no longer imputed in sin but indeed benefits from the work of the cross. Family, we are in the Passover time. Others call it Easter time. We will leave the politics alone. But what we should know that Jesus Christ was hanged on the cross for our sins. He was there to take our sorrow. He was there to take our pain. He was there to take all that which troubled us. So today we are here because we believe the work of the cross. We are here today because we believe that which the Lord Jesus Christ has done for the human race. You need to understand the work of the Lord Jesus. He is not a man that lies. The Bible says the night before he goes to the cross, his soul was pained. He was pained because he had come even unto death. But the Bible says, and yet he prayed and he said, My Father, not my will, but your will be done. Family, the work of the cross, it is the most precious work we have ever seen in the history of mankind. Because the Bible says, for there is no greater friend than this, that a friend may lay out his, his life for a friend. So the Lord Jesus Christ laid out his life for us. He placed his life so that we who believe might actually do not die, might actually not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, family, you need to understand something. In all the world, there is no one who has done what Jesus has done. The reason we preach the gospel in season and out of season is because we know there is no any other savior anywhere else. There is no salvation in any other name. Because only Jesus Christ can save. Only Jesus Christ can redeem. Only Jesus Christ can make a way in this world today. You should understand that we are here today because we know salvation is not in any other. Only the Lord Jesus can make a way. So family, wherever you are, I don't know what you're going through. But I believe against unbelief. I hope in hope that the God of our salvation tonight and today in this Passover season will change your life. Will change your destiny. Will change everything that pertains to your life. Jesus Christ took away your poverty. Jesus Christ took away your pain. 
Jesus Christ took away anything that has to do with your suffering. That's why Isaiah say we look at him and there was no calmness. He was a man that is undesirable. Yet all along he was bruised for our iniquities. He was the chastisement of our peace was upon him. So Jesus was a man full of sorrow for our sake. Full of sorrow for our sake. Full of pain for our sake. Remember Jesus is the reason we are here. He is the reason we are here. We know what the Lord has done. And we believe that God is a God of salvation. He is a God of salvation. So right now, I want to pray with you. Whatever that is troubling you, I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what is your pain. I don't know what you're going through. But what I know, he was bruised for your transgressions. Jesus Christ in the cross did it for you. He did it for you. So you need to understand it. That there is in no any other. There is no any other but Jesus. He is your savior. He is your savior. Savor of your soul, savor of your life. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now for everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Let there be light upon their lives, let there be light upon their families in this Easter season, in this Passover season. Let the angel of death pass over. Mark their foreheads with the blood of the Lamb, for they are marked. And let no sorrow be upon them. Let no pain be upon them. Let no suffering be upon them. For you are holy, righteous, and worthy. Blessed are the wicks of your hands, for your name is above every name. So Lord Jesus, we will thank you again and again. Pray to you again and again. Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your humility. For thou, Lord, are exalted in all the earth. Thou, Lord, are exalted in all creation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will thank you in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy One. In Jesus' name, you are healed, you are delivered. Happy Passover to you. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you. Thank you for following Jesus Reigns TV and connecting. I believe that this is the beginning of the best. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. So the Lord Jesus Christ is going to do amazing things for you. So I want to say thank you. Happy Easter. Have a great time. My name is Yamkela Joseph and this is Jesus Reigns TV. I believe the best is yet to come for you. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to do great things in your life. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Lord bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Shalom. 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 Men anointed by God for such a time as this, proclaiming the decrees of heaven and announcing the seasons of God among man. A man aligned with the calendar of heaven. A prophet with an attitude of a servant, a father with a heart of son, a voice of prophecy in this generation.